Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw flowers. And these are the flowers I made in my May bullet journal setup. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box below. But basically, I made a variety of flowers and I was thinking I was going to show you guys how to draw them in this video. So if you're excited for the video, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications. But other than that, let's just get right on into the video. As I said, I will be showing you guys how to make the flower I made in my May bullet journal setup. I made a variety of flowers, so I will be starting off by showing you guys the flower I made with lots and lots of petals. This is also the purple one I made in my setup. So I started by making a circle in the middle and then adding curvy petals at the ends of the circle. And as I just went on, the layers grew and grew until I was done. Next is the dark blue one in which, again, I made a circle in the middle and then a flower shape, but when I drew the flower shape, it wasn't touching the circle. And then I went in and drew different lines coming out of the circle. Next, I made a daisy in which I drew a circle in the middle, then long, thin petals coming around it. For this next one, I made a circle, then loose petals, which means I drew it with a light hand. This next one is a sunflower, and I drew the circle, and then the petals, and then at the top of the petals, they were pointy. After the sunflower, I drew another flower where it was, again, loosely drawn. And for this one, I did the same thing, but without the circle in the middle. These two are very similar, but I drew a circle in the middle, and then for one of them, they were box petals, and then one of them, they were curvy petals. This next flower has four petals, and it's in a leaf sort of shape, if that makes sense, and then I added lines coming out of it. So this is what all the flowers look like so far, and then I'm going to move on to the very last one in which there is a circle and then lines coming out of it with circles at the end of those lines. I'm just going to outline all of these really quickly and then I'm going to show you guys all the colors I used for each of the flowers. So basically all I'll be doing is showing you guys the actual color and then where I used it in the flower.
Now that I've shown you guys all the markers I used with the individual flowers, I'm just going to give you guys a few petal shapes. And these are just some of the petal shapes I came up with, but obviously there's many more. But you can incorporate these in your spreads. So if you guys like that video and want to see more videos like this one, make sure you like this video, comment what you thought, turn on your post notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Just keep smiling. Bye guys!